Okay. 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 Yes, sir, man. What they do is your boy TJ Too Smooth Treasure One. And um, my microphone just died. I did a whole seven minute video for y'all just now. My microphone died. So I want to make sure I bring this message to you regardless. So I come to you with a message. First of all, it's 53 degrees. It's cold. It's seven o'clock in the morning. And I hit a PR on bench today. 215 pounds for two reps and I was challenged by my brother to hit 315 pounds and um, I accept that challenge part of me wants to get in this car but I'm not gonna do it I'm gonna stand out here in the cold and give you this message so in the words of Marcus Aurelius a man is not defined by circumstances but by the way he perceives them. You are not defined by circumstances, but you are defined by the way you perceive them. You know, also in the words of Marcus Aurelius, you cannot control outside circumstances, but you can control your mind. So you can control the way you perceive these circumstances. I believe that there are three ways to perceive circumstance. The first way, you could become a victim. You, be, you can become saddened by what's happening and say, oh, why is this happening to me? You can become angry with God. You can become mad at the circumstances and say, I hate this. I don't wanna do this anymore. Or you could say, these are, these things are not happening to me. These things are happening for me. These things are happening for me and I'm becoming a stronger person because of them. So the truth is, you have a choice. It's within your mind as to how you choose to view the circumstances that happen in your life. Because honestly, if you decide to become a victim or if you decide to become angry at the circumstances, you have not learned the lesson. You have not learned why you have been presented with that trial and tribulation in the first place. So you know what's gonna happen? You'll see it again. You're gonna see the same problem over and over and over until you realize that you need to learn your lesson. Now, we all go through problems. How we perceive them is how we get through them. How we perceive the problem determines on how fast you'll get over it. Can you imagine knowing that if you do not learn your lesson, you will repeat it, and then you continue forward being a victim? How much pain are you willing to go through before you realize Now's the time to learn your lesson. You've accumulated the thoughts. You know what you need to do. The longer you wait, the longer you go through hell. But that's all determined by the way you perceive your circumstance. If you think that everything is happening to you, then you believe that you have no control over how long the circumstance lasts. If you believe that everything is happening to you, then you think that you have no control over how this outcome turns out. But the truth is you do. It is within your control. Your, your ability to perceive circumstance is well within your control. It's up to you how you choose to view the problem. Will you become a victim? Will you say, woe is me, why me? Or will you become a victor and accept the challenge and say, hey, this is happening to me to make me stronger. I'll never have to deal with this again because I know how to deal with it now. Huh? Don't ignore your assignment. Your trial and your tribulation this pain and this suffering is your assignment. You've been assigned this pain. This is your problem now. 
It's up to you to fix it. It's no one else's problem but yours. Yes. This is your issue now. Be grateful for the issue. Your soul wants you to go through this and pass with flying colors. Go through this and become something greater. Go through this and be a stronger person. God wants this for you. The enemy wants you to fold under the pressure. The enemy wants you to cry and be down about the situation. But it's your time to stand up. It's your time to be up. It's your time to wake up. Accept your challenge. What are you running from? What are you waiting for? I don't want to feel any more pain. The pain is what moves you towards the pleasure. Do you not exercise? Have you not been under heavy amounts of weight and pushed it off of your body? That is painful. Have you not played a sport? Have you not played contact sports? Have you not thrown your body into another person? Got up off the ground and said, that was worth it. Have you not felt the pleasure after the pain? Have you not been a mother who gave birth to a beautiful child and felt the bliss of knowing that this new life is now into the world, something you can raise, something that you can impart all your knowledge into, something that will bring on the next generation of your family. Have you not felt the pleasure after the pain? Have you not been fired from a job just to go to another job and make more money? Have you not felt the pleasure after the pain? Well, if so, what are you waiting for to accept this challenge? What is stopping you from accepting this challenge? You know what you need to do. You know where you need to go. You know the people you need to meet. You know which building you need to walk into. You know whose hands you need to shake. What are you waiting for? You know the content you need to create. You know the pictures you need to take. <laughs> you know the clothes you want to buy. You know the tattoos you want. You know the car you want. Is, you, are you driving the car you want? Are you in the place you want to live? Do you have as much money stacked up as you want to stack up? Well, if not, you, it's time to accept the challenge. It's time to do more. It's time to go get it. What are you waiting for? It's seven o'clock in the morning. It's cold outside. It's 52 degrees and the wind is blowing 25 miles an hour. I can see my breath and I'm still out here getting it. I've been 225 pounds for two this morning. That's a PR, baby. I'm going for 315 by the end of the year. You're going to see some heavy bench. I've accepted the challenge. Huh? Accept the challenge. Get calculated about it. Get serious about life. Focus. Get in. You on the sidelines. You sitting on the bench. You waiting for coach to put you in. Get in. Now's the time to make it happen. Accept the challenge. Do not become a victim. Do not become angry at God or mad at life. Become a victor. Become triumphant. Overcome adversity. I have this tattooed on my body. Overcome the adversity. Do not succumb to the adversity. Man, like this video, man. It's your boy TJ Too Smooth Trey Jawan. If I helped you add some perspective today, if I motivated you to keep going, like this video comment down below hop in the comment section and let's talk about it share this video with somebody who needs to accept the challenge accept the challenge of life accept the challenge of trials accept the challenge of family accept the challenge at work share it with somebody subscribe to this channel because it helps the channel grow and it helps me continue to do what i do for you here Follow me on Instagram. It's your boy TJ Too Smooth, Trey Juwan, man. It's time to go warm up. It's time to go get it. Let's go! Baby, I can pop out right now, pull my big one on these hoes down. I'm not acrobatic, I'm not flipping on my bro. Nope, I'm not should be flashing, well, I cannot get it stuck. And I'm not talking shit, I catch a bitch before I catch a cold.